original Brown Derby is located at 3427 Wilshire Boulevard, the Dallas Korea Town, partially incorporated into a shopping center in 1980, and the dome is the only part that remains of the original Brown Derby hat. The Brown Derby Plaza? Originally, the Brown Derby was located directly across the street in that big white building that you could see, known as the, which is known as the Equitable Building, and it was moved directly across the street. Next door to the Brown Derby Plaza, you see the Gaylord Apartments, which is the first apartment that you could actually own your unit in Los Angeles. Across the street from the Brown Derby Plaza, Brown Derby, Gaylord Apartments is the Ambassador Hotel, but you will see more about that later. The dome that you see is all that's left from the original Brown Derby hat uh, restaurant. 3427 Wilshire Boulevard. All that's left of the Brown Derby. Now you can see the original Brown Derby uh, parking sign located in the back of the building. Again, the Gaylord Apartments were the first apartments that you could buy and own your actual unit located just directly across the street from the Ambassador Hotel. Now, I used to eat uh, every day from lunch. I worked right next door, door to where the Ambassador Hotel is, and I used to eat in the subway shop there a lot. Uh, and which was located directly next door to the Gaylord Hotel. That's all the stuff in the Brown Derby. This area is not far from where the Bullets Wilshire was located and the Hancock Park area with uh, tons of celebrities. Uh, frequent in the area that they're shopping, that they're eating. Uh, this was the original Brown Derby. Uh, as you can see, there'll be a little bit more history coming up uh, about it. Even the recipe of the original cop salad will be included. The Brown Derby. Chili parlor under chili parlor under a wooden hat. When the Ambassador Hotel proved to be an instant success, the neighborhood added two other institutions that owned their presence at the hotel across Wilshire Boulevard. The first was the world famous Brown Derby Cafe, which opened in 1925, 3727 Wilshire Boulevard. To cater mostly to late night revelers for pouring out of the hotel's Coconut Grove nightclub. 
little more than a glorified chili parlor, parlor under a wooden hat. The Brown Derby flower flourished because it was adopted by Hollywood actors, producers, writers, founders, including the ex-husband of actress Gloria Swanson, and the backers included Jack Warner of Warner Brothers Studios and Hollywood Theater Impersonists. Eat in the hat. Now the gimmick was a 30 foot diameter derby. He made of wood and plaster with a sign that read, eat under the hat. On the first, of the, on the first menu were just burgers, hot dogs, melted cheese, sandwiches, chili, tamales, coffee, tea, milk, and beer. A chiffon cake was added when the patrons demanded something sweet. Later, a grapefruit cake requested by dieting gossip columnist Luella Parsons became the signature brown derby dessert. The most famous cafe creation, however, was the salad that manager Bob Cobb threw together one night from a head of romaine lettuce, avocado, watercress, tomatoes, cold chicken breast, hard-boiled eggs, bacon, chives, cheese, and French dressing. The Cobb salad was Minor variations has been served in many restaurants ever since. The Brown Derby formula proved that the Valentine's Day in 1929, a second location opened on Vine Street in Hollywood without the hat and was a new, more serious menu. Two years later, a short-lived derby opened at 3927 Wilshire Boulevard in Beverly Hills at Wilshire and Rodeo Drive. The cafe under the head also relocated one block in 1936 to the northeast corner of Wilshire and Alexander Avenue, even closer to the Ambassador Hotel. And the Coconut Grove, the final derby spot under reconstructed hat. With a convention, no dining room attached remained the Wilshire Boulevard Limit for over 40 years, just before 4 p.m. on September 9, 1980. A lone diner enjoyed, a route diner was told that his meal was on the house, but that he had to depart immediately by 5 p.m. The Brown Derby's Longtime staff had been paid the last check despite the efforts of preservationists. The landmark was raised and only perceived with the only hat it now sits atop of the restaurant and bar on the second floor of the Brown Derby Plaza, the mini mall at 3377 Wilshire Boulevard. Now the gala departments next door were already there when the first cup of brown derby coffee was pearled. Opened in 1924, the gala was advertised itself as the original on your own unit residential high rise on Wilshire directly across from the Coconut Grove, 400 beautiful appointed spacious guest rooms all outside when the first edition of Who's Who in Los Angeles appeared. Several landing citizens listed their residence as the Gaylord, which was possibly named the Wilshire Boulevard founder, Henry Gaylord Wilshire. Off the lobby, the gay room offered nightly dancing building lore, says the restaurant's later known as a secret harbor. The golden anchor of the bull and bush was patronized by Winston Churchill when he stayed at the Ambassador Hotel and by newspaper publisher William Randolph Hearst for the past four decades as we called the HMS Bounty. The Brown Derby.
The Hollywood location was located at 1628 Vine Street near Hollywood and Vine. Well, good morning at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. This is Hollywood happening. And we're going to do a quick little walk down, find the original, find the brown derby here on Vine Street. You see, this is some of the stars. We'll do a more of a in depth later. W Hotel. This was like the back entrance of part of the uh, Brown Derby. They're on 1628 North Vine Street. The Brown Derby. Now, it, most of this was destroyed by fire in 1987. inside oh wow look at those stairs over there thinking I was out here in 87 I can't find any research exactly when the fire destroyed the uh, Brown Derby here on Vine Street part of the W Hotel incorporated this actually I believe it was a condominium part of the hotel Nice pillars in there. Get a wider shot. This is Hollywood and Vine. Sunset and Vine. Oh, 
Hollywood Plaza. Now the, from here, that's the back alley, you saw part of that. Over here, this is the floor. Looking at part of old time Hollywood. Now I gotta look at my pictures from 1987 and see if I actually got a picture of this. And there's a part of the condos that's owned by the W Hotel. And that's what's incorporated part of the Brown Derby. And this is 1628 North Vine Street. In 1987, it was uh, destroyed, a big part of it was destroyed by fire and closed shortly thereafter. This is the part that's left. and now it's incorporated into the W Hotel, uh, their actual condominiums. And this is the apartment where a lot of the brown movie sat. Some of the stores outside the Brown Derby restaurant. John Ford. This is 4500 Los Feliz Boulevard. This was the number three Brown Derby. I can walk around this way. Now the last of the Brown Derby restaurant property uh, was to be sold. Uh, the Los, last of the four Los Angeles Brown Derby restaurants once on the brink of demolition and now a protected city monument has been put on the market for 10.6 million. The building at 4500 Los Feliz Boulevard is being sold by the group of investors that attempted 
in the mid 2000s to build 80 residences at a supermarket at the site of the fan restaurant. Part of old time Hollywood. The fan restaurant. The neighborhood caught wind of the effort created the Save the Derby Preservation Group and Raleigh Los Angeles City Council to save the building, which dates to 1928 and was once owned by Cecil B. DeMille. Cecil B. DeMille. The 14,000 square foot building now home of the Chase Bank branch and Louis Tartaria, which is now the mess hall. Our restaurant was declared a historical cultural monument by the City of Los Angeles in 2006, protecting it from demolition and significant alterations. Thanks largely, largely to the efforts of the community members and volunteers, the building's significance is formally recognized and the city will review any proposed alterations to make sure that they maintain the building character, said Adrian Scott Fine, a director of advocacy of the Los Angeles Conservancy, Conservancy a nonprofit advocacy organization that works to preserve and recognize the historic architectural and cultural resources of Los Angeles County. Now the Los Feliz branch of the Brown Building closed in 1960. The building at the corner of Los Feliz and Hillhurst Avenue later housed the Derby nightclub. Although in New Haiti, the four Brown De Derby restaurant branches were each famed Hollywood hangouts, all except the Los, Los Feliz restaurants have been demolished or significantly altered. The formerly the Brown Derby, now uh, LA Cultural Historical Monument. The original Brown Derby located at 3427 Russia Boulevard is what is now Koreatown was partially incorporated into a shopping center in 1980. The restaurant was shaped like a man's derby hat and featured a sign that beckoned passed by to eat in the hat. The Hollywood location was destroyed in a 1987 fire, although a portion of the building has been integrated into the W uh, Hollywood Hotel and Residences Project, project on Ryan Street, located at 1628 uh, Ryan Street. Now, the Beverly Hills Brown Derby was raised in 1983, which was located at 9537 Wilshire Boulevard at the corner of the day of driving the show. The Brown Derby claim was found by, founded by the Brown Derby chain was founded by Herbert Somburn, a one-time husband of silent film star Gloria Swanson and Robert E. Cobb. He is said to create the Cobb salad at the Hollywood branch of the restaurant. Legend has it that one day Cobb was forced to quickly throw together a salad and theater owner, for theater owner Sid Groman. And with only leftovers at his disposal, Cobb created the now ubiquitous salad of greens, tomato, bacon, roasted chicken, breast, hard boiled eggs, avocado, and roast pork cheese. As we walk around the back, you can see the parking lot of this 14,000 plus square foot building and actually how big it is. You'll find some of the other uh, restaurants and bakeries that has incorporated it besides the bank building and the mess hall. On the back of it.
stairs were actually located on the side of the building, uh, located on Hillhurst, as we're walking back up toward Los Feliz. Again, this is the Forest Brown Derby that's located at 4500 uh, Los Feliz Boulevard and is now occupied by a Chase Bank, aka also the Louis Totorita, which is now incorporated as the Mess Hall. This was all what once was the third round derby. Now this is the Hollywood Brown, the original Brown Derby, the Hollywood Brown Derby. As you can see the way it looked all together. That's a little spot from the, from the Hollywood Vine. This is the Los Feliz Brown Derby. And this is the Rodeo Drive and Wilshire Boulevard Brown Derby located in Beverly Hills, California. <laughs> 